Determine the chlorinator setting in pounds per day if a water plant produces 300 gallons per minute and the desired chlorine dose is 2 milligrams per liter. Well, I know from my pounds per day formula that the flow rate has to be in MGD, and they didn't give me the flow rate in MGD, they gave it to me in gallons per minute. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to turn that 300 gallons per minute into MGD. So I'm going to start by drawing my railroad track. Here's the backbone and I've got 300 gallons per, and when you say per, minutes has to jump over the line, so gallons per minute. I'm just going to wall that off, and where I want to end up with when I'm done is million gallons per day. Okay, so MGD is not all one thing and neither is GPM, so MG, million gallons per days goes underneath. Let's convert gallons to million gallons first. So I've got gallons up here, for every one, one, two, three, four, five, six zeros for a million gallons in one million gallons. Uh, and if th what I'm doing here confuses you, uh, go back and watch the unit conversion video. There's about a half hour that really explains this in detail. Gallons on the top is going to cancel with gallons on the bottom, leaves me with million gallons. And I could actually just do that now. So we'll take our uh, gallons cancels with gallons, leaves me with million gallons, and that's going to come down here, just slide right on down and become part of my answer. The next thing I have to convert is minutes into days. Now, now minutes is underneath, so we're going to put minutes up here on the top, and days is going to go underneath, and for every one day there are 1,440 minutes, uh, which is the same as saying uh, 24 hours in a day times 60 minutes, that's where I got that 1440. So if you didn't know that, you could actually do it in more than one step in the unit conversion. So now I've got minutes on the bottom, cancels with minutes on top, leaves me with days, which is going to slide down here and become part of my answer. So I'm going to plug that into my calculator. 300 times 1440 divided by a million and make sure that you get those six zeros in there. I always like to punch this one in twice. And what I end up with is uh, 0.432 million gallons per day for this plant. Okay, so now I'm ready to go and get my pounds formula. And the pounds formula, pounds per day, is equal to milligrams per liter times the flow rate in MGD, which I just found, times a conversion factor of 8.34 pounds per gallon. And we're going to divide that by the percent of available chlorine in my chemical. So we are going to, I'm going to change colors here, just start plugging in the things that we know. What I don't know, I don't know pounds per day. That's what they're asking me for. Milligrams per liter is my dose, and they told me up here that my dose is 2 milligrams per liter, so let's go ahead and put that in, 2 milligrams per liter. The flow rate we calculated before, that was our 300 gallons per minute, but we turned that into 0.432 mgd times 8.34 pounds per gallon and we're going to divide by the percent of available chlorine. Now in this case they didn't actually tell me any percent available chlorine, so, and, uh, and it does say the chlorinator setting, so I'm going to assume that we're using chlorine gas, which is a hundred percent, okay, but this percent always has to go in as a decimal, so this is just going to become a one down here on the bottom. Okay, so anytime they don't give you a percent available or the or it says chlorine gas, this number is going to be a 1. So everything above the line gets multiplied. So I've got uh, 2 milligrams per liter times my 0.432 times 8.34 and it looks like about 7.2 pounds per day is where the chlorinator setting should be set.